right, welcome back to 8-bit days a week and I'm gonna play Rayman and the PlayStation Classic. Now if uh, history serves me right, this is supposedly a exclusive title for Atari Jaguar. But since the Jaguar failed miserably, I guess Ubisoft decided to port this to PlayStation. And I suppose it was a good move. It saved the, the franchise, I guess. As there are still Rayman games even today. I played the recent one and it's in the, the Nintendo Switch. Now I do recall playing this game before. I just didn't really spend that much time with it. But from what I remember, this this game was like very hard. Was it? We'll see. I'm gonna go through it again. I can't really remember it much anymore. Jump fist action. Okay. Ah, oh, that's nice, that's nice. Let's skip the FMV there. I just want to get to the gameplay. Let's see. Has this game aged well? Well, graphically, uh, as I was saying, graphically, it looks like it did age well, actually. Being a 2D title, it doesn't have in much of the rough, jaggies seen in usually in 3D games. Nice platformer, I guess. I remember there were lots of rumors about Rayman being included in the Smash roster. But I think he came out like as an assist only, I think. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong. So I really don't recall any uh, exactly. He did appear in. Oh, he did appear in uh, what's that? Brawlout, like a guest character. And Brawlout does have very just a slight similarity to Brawl, wherein you have to get other opponents off the arena, albeit it controls completely different it's like a platform game that's also a fighting ah. can't believe i fell for the same thing I 
deep on expecting that you're able to punch the opponents here and yeah, kind of like how he is in the newer Rayman games nothing seems to be happening when I press the square button though So, am I supposed to do something here? Huh, flying fish. Oh, how could I reach that? I just decide to completely ignore it. Yeah. All right, thank you. Finally, I can finally punch. Okay. I was looking for that. Oh, look, a golden glove. Mm. The game is uh, sort of slow and uh, deliberate. It's not. I guess it's not really something that would entice you to speedrun the game, if that makes sense. Although I'm sure someone has already done so. <laughs> Got a one up. Yes. And of course, I wasted my life again. I'm sure I'm supposed to bring this there. Or maybe there, there's a hand there. Ah. Oh, another one up. Okay, thank you. Probably need to push this a bit further. Ugh. Well. This game is a, I would say, um, it's an okay inclusion for PlayStation Classic. It's certainly, um, still looks okay, given the graphic style as opposed to the, most of the 3D games here. So it holds up, and it's going to provide you 
a bit of a challenge. So yeah, I do remember that this game is hard. Uh, thing is, I really can't remember it much anymore. It's not a game that I really spent some time with. I was uh, really too much on just uh, fighting games. But um, uh, no more one up. Some of you may have been put off by its uh, extremely cartoony graphics before. I bet a lot of you wanted the the grittiness of uh, Metal Gear Solid or Resident Evil you know, things like those or maybe even Mega Man X so you probably never tried this but I think it's a the game is okay it's okay to revisit even for today's modern gamers So at least we know that not all um, games included in the PlayStation Classic is like a wrong inclusion. I mean, we... I admit this isn't as uh, popular as uh, most other PlayStation games, but at least we get to try it now, and it's not that bad. Save game. Oh, okay, yes please. Alright, I think it's uh, a good point to end uh, this video and this is uh, 8 bit days a week thanks for watching please uh, like subscribe comment you know all that stuff and i'll see you in the next video